Faraday's law of electrolysis states that the amount of product formed or reactant consumed by an electric current is stoichiometrically equivalent to the amount of electrons supplied. For example, you can say what amount in moles of aluminum can be produced from aluminum oxide if five moles of electrons are supplied. We can answer this question because there is a stoichiometric relationship. So I recognize that the oxidation number for aluminum and aluminum oxide is aluminum in the plus three state. So I can write a half reaction showing that for every one mole of aluminum ion, I need three moles of electrons to reduce the aluminum to the aluminum metal. So for every three moles of electrons supplied, I produce one mole of aluminum when presented with the aluminum in the plus three state. So if the question was, given five moles of electrons, how many moles of aluminum can we produce in an electrolytic cell? Then I would do a simple stoichiometric problem where I said, start with what's given, five moles of electrons, multiply it by the stoichiometric equivalence, which is three moles of electrons for every one mole of aluminum produced from the balanced half reaction. And I do the math, and the moles of electrons cancels, and I end up with about 1.67 moles of aluminum formed from the five moles of electrons supplied. Now, it's pretty darn near impossible to count electrons, much less moles of electrons, but the beauty of Faraday was he found a relationship, Faraday's number, which states that um, one mole of electrons equals 96,485 coulomb of charge. So we can measure coulombs of charge um, from the current and then you can, from this relationship, determine how many moles of electrons are supplied to a particular electrolytic cell. Let's take a look at an example. If you supplied a total charge of 96.5 kilocoulombs in an electrolytic cell, determine the mass of silver produced from a concentrated silver nitrate solution. So what we know is going on is that we have a solution containing the silver ion, the nitrate anion, and water. And we're going to supply a current um, to this cell. It's an electrolytic cell. So we're going to drive electrons um, with a, a power source into this particular cell. And we're told that we've um, provided 96.5 kilocoulombs. What's the mass? Well, because we have the relationship, which is um, Faraday's number, one mole of electrons equals 96,485 coulombs of charge, I can start with what's given, which in this case is 96.5 coulombs, let's see, kilocoulombs, so that's the same as 96.5 times 10 to the third coulombs of charge, and um, in this particular case, I know that I need to convert to moles of electrons, so there's a relationship to 96,485 coulombs per one mole of electrons. And when I think about silver, I know that you need one mole of electrons to reduce one mole of silver ion to silver metal. So for every one mole of electrons, I'm going to reduce one mole of silver. And the question was how many grams? So I can um, convert now to grams using the molar mass of silver, which is about oh, 108 grams of silver per one mole of silver. Now I'm left in units of grams. I do the math, 96,500 96, uh, divided by 96,485 times 108 is about 108 grams of silver produced.